Hello everyone and welcome back to my Nightmare Mode gameplay part 2. Finally, we got past Mio. I know that boss was horrible. Believe me, I know. I'm still trying to get those 11 attempts out of my head. It's pretty hard. But, you know, I think I'm recovering pretty well. And just right there before what you just saw, I never knew that there was an antique coin right there. Um, I was just kind of looking around and I found it. And honestly, the only reason why I found it was because I just saw like that little arrow pointing down to it because my first playthrough, I never found that. And so let's talk about Jack and getting this little basement key or hatchet door key, whatever it is. I don't even know. Basically, he moves a lot quicker on the nightmare mode gameplay. He is so quick and it's so frustrating. You'll see, believe me, because there's going to be one part of this video where I'm just waiting and... You just have to wait for him to pass because when he catches you, he'll just throw you and he'll just chop your foot off like it's nothing and it'll be this whole big thing. Then he'll chase after you if you try to run away. It's just not worth your time, believe me. So basically, just stay right there where this little bobblehead is behind me and just duck because he's going to come around this corner and I basically found like a little thing. I don't know if it is a thing, but it'll help you definitely. If you stay in this spot for like a little bit of time, what will happen is he'll go inside that little kitchen area and he'll stay there for a little bit. And then that's when you basically have the time to, you know, run, close the door because that's what I did. I closed the door on him so he would have to kick it open and I ran back down to where the garage was. Right there, I was so scared. I was like, oh my God, he saw me. I'm going to get killed now. I'm going to get shanked. But thankfully, he didn't. And this game is pretty good like that. Um, you know, they don't really have to chase you from the minute they see you. Because if it was like that, then it would be a lot more annoying. And when you play with headphones, you know, you're going to hear the footsteps and stuff. So you can definitely keep an eye out for that. And I don't, know, I don't even know why I just said keep an eye out. I mean, just, you know, like just listen and you'll be golden. But before, because I got off track... I wanted to say that you'll know that he'll be in that little kitchen area because you're going to hear him say, like, you know, some quotes. Just like right there. He said, where'd that little shit go? You know what I mean? You're just going to have to pay attention for little cues like that. I waited until the second quote. I don't know why, or it might have been the third quote or something. I have no idea, but I just kept waiting because, honestly, I was kind of nervous. But then, I don't know if you guys are like this, but I am. Personally, I'm not, I don't get, like, scared of anything, but... It's just more so I get angry because I don't want to sit in the same spot. I want to actually keep going and continuing because if I'm not, then it just gets really frustrating. And I'm like, oh my God, how long am I going to sit in the spot? You know what I mean? It's just like, why? So right here is where I'm like contemplating basically to make a run for it or not. And I'm pretty sure that I do because of the quote right there. And I was just like, you know what? Screw it. If I'm going to get my head bashed in, just let it happen. I'm just going to retry again. And, you know, I don't understand why people are so afraid of that to retry or, you know, keep trying things over again. Because believe me, I know what that feels like versing me 11 times people 11. And see, so all you have to do is just close that door and then just keep on running. Just run down into the garage area because he'll just kick that open and you have to hide. I just always recommend ducking behind that little window pane right there. And then just wait for him to walk and be on your way. Now, I was actually really excited to do the Nightmare Mode gameplay because I knew that I was going to be getting the Albert gun that you get at the end of the game. And I just love little references to the older games. Like, I just love that they called the gun Albert because obviously, you know, Albert Wesker and what happened in 5 when you kill him. I don't know why, but right here I was just looking for antique coins. I don't know if there actually was one down here. I think before on one of my earlier gameplays, I did find one. But, you know, considering that this is the Nightmare Mode gameplay, I understand that, you know, items aren't going to be as frequent than they were in the easier difficulties. But, you know, I just, I was just like, all right, I'm just going to keep looking. I don't know. I was just wasting time, I guess. But I know that I think there was a little um antique coin on like that little red lawnmower i think it is i have no idea i just looked at it, it just looks like, like a little moped thing i have no idea all right here you know i'm going into like that little saving area 
This episode wasn't going to be that long, honestly. I just wanted to show you guys how I got past him. Because I know that some people have a really hard time doing that. And I mean, it is understandable because he is amazingly fast. I don't know why, I just thought that was really funny that he was like, ooh, they stink the socks. I was like, who the hell would hang up socks like this? And right here, I didn't know that I was going to be get the secrets of defense. That is so good that they have that in this game. I actually really love that. But I feel like it kind of takes away the challenge of nightmare mode. But honestly, screw it, because I want to live and I don't want to die all the time. That's not what I'm about. But you'll see, I'm about to take out the Albert right here. It looks so similar to the Samurai Edge, and I want you guys to like tell me if you, you know, think the same way I do. I really think it looks like the Samurai Edge, just like with a silencer on it or something. I don't know, it could be just me, but that's just how I feel. But regardless, it is a nice gun, like, it just looks so powerful. I don't know if it takes handgun bullets, or you have to find, you know, like a special type of bullet. Because I know it shoots, like, powerful something, but I don't think it's handgun bullets, yeah. Um, but basically, that's pretty much all I have for today's episode. The next episode, we are going to be versing Jack in the garage, and I can only imagine how many attempts that was going to be. Would you guys like to take a guess? You know, maybe 20, 30, maybe even 45? But basically, yeah, <laughs> um, that's all I have for today's episode. If you guys did enjoy today's episode, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. And as always, thanks for watching.